Running a patient sample is fast, easy, and customizable. The system accepts four milliliters of whole blood in a lithium or sodium heparin collection tube. To begin, gently invert the collection tube a few times. To determine if there is enough sample, compare the sample level in the tube against the sample volume gauge. It's easy to enter required information about the sample. Just scan the patient barcode on the collection tube and then scan or manually enter the operator ID. Loading the sample is easy too. The Stratus CS200 system has red indicator lights that guide the operator with step-by-step -step instructions on how to proceed, which reduces the possibility of operator errors. First, locate the cannula, then gently insert the collection tube into the cannula. Then insert the cannula with the collection tube into the system sample door and close the door. The sample is now ready for processing. The sample is dispensed into the rotor and then centrifuged. You can customize testing by running any combination of up to four test packs on a single patient sample. Just insert the required test packs into the pack manager well. The tip manager holds two disposable trays of 40 tips each. After all the red indicator lights have gone out, the start button turns green indicating that the Stratus CS200 system is ready to process the sample. Press the Start button to begin processing. The first test result is provided in as little as 14 minutes, with subsequent results in 4-minute intervals. Once testing is completed, results are printed. Results can also be sent automatically to the laboratory information system if connected. When the sample door opens, you remove the collection tube with the cannula and dispose them in a biohazard waste bin. However, the sample is still available on the system for further use if necessary. Reagent test packs, rotor and pipette tips are automatically disposed into the waste bin, eliminating the risk of operator exposure to biohazards.